Welcome to Wartime Radio with WPJM 800. My name is Officer Kalaya, and to my right, Officer Aton. To my left, Officer you want to talk so. Today we are going to be discussing the topic of does water baptism <laughs> save you? Washed in the are blood. You, are you washed of in Jesus. the blood of Jesus? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with Romans chapter fifteen and verse four. It's the book of Romans chapter fifteen, verse four. Read it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. This right here is a very heavy and deep scripture within this, within the Bible because it's telling us that the things that are written in these scriptures were written that we might have hope and to gain some understanding in these last days. So Read that again. So it ain't just wrote no. for you to ignore the stuff. No, 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 no. You're supposed to learn, learn. from it. You're supposed <laughs> to learn from what has been written. Read it again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. The were, Bible were written of this all of these scriptures from Genesis to Revelations. Read. Were written for our learning. For our what? For our learning. Come on. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So that means when it comes to baptism. We're supposed to gain an understanding of what baptism is. So not your own made up no. way of uh, baptizing people mm -hmm. and, you know, catch the Holy Ghost with it and <laughs> hey, ha halfway drown. Right. Must be sitting there getting dunked and talking about some. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So Man, we wig fall off. Wig fall off. Oh, shirt wet. God, no. <laughs> hey, we got some we got some videos to show y'all today. We're going to show you that we have been taught completely wrong when it comes to baptism and the baptism the baptism of John and the baptism of Christ. Y'all got that uh that clip that I not the clip the uh the definition that I want? Yeah, pull that definition up real quick. We're going to read this. this is a Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary the definition of baptize or baptism. Yep, read that. Baptism. The word baptism Baptism in Jewish usage first appears in the Mosaic laws of purification, mm -hmm. where it means washing or cleansing. Jews baptized proselytes. John's baptism was was concepted, connected, connected with repentance, so that Jews might be spiritually prepared to recognize and receive the Messiah. And it differed from the baptism of Jesus. Oh so, man. So that so you telling me well we the word baptize come from baptizo, all right? It's connected with Jewish. It appears first in the Mosaic laws of purification. So when our people go out and get baptized, they think because they jumped in the water that they're pure. Right. They don't they don't know what <laughs> repentance means. Right. right. That's, that's their problem. On top of that, it says that it differ it differed meaning it differed from from Jesus Christ. Uh, the way that Jesus Christ baptized. So right. John baptized one way and Jesus Christ baptized another way. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So let's look at uh let's look at Acts chapter 19 and verse 2 real quick. It's the book of Acts, chapter 19 and verse 2. Bring it out. He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be an Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. So what was going on during this time? All right, this is uh, Paul's ministry where he's going and he's, he's teaching. He's in Ephesus at, at, at this point, teaching 
the the way in which Christ has taught him to baptize, correct? All right, so the, he asked them, he said, he said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. The question is, what is the Holy Ghost? Hey, let look, let, let everybody in the Christian church tell you it's that thing they be hopping around with, jumping right. around. My thing is how you catch it right. and lose it. I caught the Holy Ghost today, but I when I got home, I didn't have it no more. They make it sound Stop like it's it. a cold. Get some help. <laughs> like right. you caught COVID and got rid of it. Is that what it is? Right. <laughs> right. So it's, it says, Damn. it says, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. We need to find out what that Holy Ghost is. Let's, let's get that. It's the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 51. Bring it out. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, mm -hmm. ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. They resist what? The Holy Ghost. Come on. As your fathers did, so do you. Come on. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law uh -huh. by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. So we got to understand that the Holy Ghost in the scriptures is not this uh, mystical energy or whatever in the Christian church that yeah. jumps into you. Right. We have to understand, our people must understand that the Holy Ghost is the keeping of God's laws. That's right. All right. So when we go back to Acts chapter 19 and verse 2, read that again. It's the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 2. Bring it out. He said unto them, have ye received the Holy Ghost? Since have you received the laws of God? Come on. Since ye believed? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Come on. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. They said unto John's baptism. So John baptized with the water. Uh-huh. Right? So let's get that. You got, you got something on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, real. yeah, get that. I actually want to read on down. Yeah, read on. Read on down. Verse 4. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Because you are to repent. Right. John and Christ, they both baptized with repentance, but they both, one did with water and another one did without water. It was actually fire. <laughs> but read on. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him, we should come after him. Uh -huh. That is on Christ. That is on Christ Jesus. That is on Christ. So now jump over. To Matthews, because like you was reading in that definition, Matthews 3 and uh, 11, you like you was reading in the definition of, of uh, baptism, <laughs> how John's baptism was different than Christ's baptism. Correct. So you got people still thinking they got to be dipped in water because John was dipping people in water. But what the matter of fact, jump up, Verse jump seven. up to six, exactly. matter of fact, five, because let's see what was happening when our people was getting dipped in water back then. Read it's the book of Matthew, chapter three, verse five. Uh huh. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan uh -huh. and were baptized of him in Jordan. So he was dipping them in water. But what was they doing? Confessing their sins. How are you going to confess your sins if you don't know the laws? But wait a minute. I've been in church before. You've been to church before? Yeah. I've seen people get dipped in the water. I ain't see nobody confessing they, no they, sins, though. They ain't even doing the laws. They, you know, on Sunday. Right. Bruh. Right. They ain't even keeping the Sabbath day. So, but, <laughs> but let's, let's appease them for a minute. They in there getting dipped in the water. But are you confessing your sins? Are you confessing that I'm an adulterer? I'm a fornicator? I'm a murderer? I'm a liar? During this time when they were being baptized, they, they confessed. were confessing their sins. Right. They Because they learned the laws and was repenting from those sins. Our people today in these churches ain't doing that. Ooh. You go down a sinner, you come out the same way because you right. ain't changed nothing about you. All right. So let's, uh, matter of fact, jump down because we ain't going to read the whole thing. Go to verse 11. Let's read about the difference in the baptism. Right. It's book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. So this is John. He said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Read on. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. So now he's making a reference to Christ. It's, he's mightier. Christ was mightier than John. Read. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Uh-huh. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and with fire. So 
that's the difference in the baptism. So what's the fire? Let's get Jeremiah 5 and 14. Because we already read the Holy Ghost, which is the laws. So Christ is going to baptize you by cleaning you up with the commandments of God. But what's that fire? Let's get that in Jeremiah. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of, of hosts, because ye speak this word, uh -huh. behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. So that's what's going on. The words of this Bible shall be fire because what's going to happen? Read. And this people would, and it shall devour them. Because if you are the wood and you don't repent, when Christ come back, he's going to clean the earth and get rid of you. That's, and that's, that's the fact. fire. That's the fact. And that's the difference. That's one of the biggest difference between the baptism of John and the baptism of Christ. Let's get Isaiah. Isaiah 66 and Ooh. verse 15 real quick. Because yes. what you must understand is that Baptism, the baptism of Christ is the keeping of these laws, but he's going to baptize you with fire. You're going to either be baptized in the keeping of these laws and keep the commandments, or you're going to be baptized with this fire once he returns to this earth. Right. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Read it out. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. With what? With fire. Uh-huh. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. And is rebuked with flames of fire. Uh huh. Read on. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So, here is the baptism. This is the baptism that they don't want. Yeah, that's the one you don't want. <laughs> this is the one you don't want. Look, all these wildfires everywhere, burning everybody house down, burning everybody land, and they thinking that then they just chilling. Everybody running scared of that fire, but there is a nuclear one right. coming. And we continue in this day and time. We're following, yet we know John's, uh, the, the way that John baptized, they went throughout the earth. Oh. All right? That's why when we read in Acts chapter 19, they said that they don't know about the Holy Ghost. You know, we, we baptized with John's baptism. Right. Right? But we must understand that John prepared the way for Christ. Mm -hmm. All right? John, where, where's that at? Uh, where it said, we just looked at it. Where it says he must decrease. John yeah, 3. John, yeah, 3. John 3. Yeah. So John prepared the way for Christ, meaning he prepared the way and gave the ministry over to Christ. So we should be more attentive to the baptism that Christ has endowed us with versus John. That's now, we're not right. saying that being being baptized in the water is evil and that, it, you know right. what I mean? You want to be baptized in the water? Go ahead. But that doesn't wash your sins away. Right. That ain't, that's not repentance by you getting dipped in water. Right. Oh, yeah. John 3. You John start 3. At, um, 26 or? Yeah, that's fine. It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 26. Bring it out. And they came unto Jordan and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Mm -hmm. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ. What did he say? I am not the Christ. Come on but that I am sent before him. So John is letting us know right here that yep. I am, I'm not the Christ. He says it himself. He understood his role. He understood he his understood role. He understood his job. He's preparing us to, be, to accept, like we read in the definition, to be able to receive Christ, right. the Messiah upon his coming. Right. So everybody, they, they, they missed the scripture in church. So, so if he's preparing the way, right? And then our people turn around and say, no, no, we must be dipped in water to be saved. Right. So they're not accepting Christ. Then is what they're saying. Sounds pretty clear to that, me. That means you're not accepting what John just said. It sounds pretty clear to me. Read on. Verse 29. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Mm -hmm. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. Read. He must increase. He, meaning Christ, must increase. But I must decrease. But, but John must decrease, meaning what? The water baptism only prepared you for what Christ is going to do. He right. didn't come at that to me. That's it. Uh, let me read verse 25 to get the subject on that thing. Go ahead. The subject matter, verse 25. I'll read it for you. i read it for you. Verse 25? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is book of John, chapter 3, verse 25. So we're dealing with the subject matter as to why John said he must de increase and I must, de I must decrease. Read. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. They was discussing baptism. 
why is is more people going unto his type of baptism and not being dunked in water? Right. So that was the that was the the subject is the purifying the baptism. And then when you jump down to verse thirty, it says he must increase, but I must decrease. Right. right. So yeah, but with with that with that because you literally because like he said that he's gonna decrease and Christ is gonna increase. Mm-hmm. Did did Christ baptize people? Did he dip them in water? Mm. Since we right here next to it, yeah, right. you know, just go to look. Let's just just read that John four and one. Got this is the book of John chapter four verse one. Bring it up. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, uh-huh. though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples. But then our people would turn around and say they. Hey, 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 we, we doing what we supposed to do by dipping people in water. Right. And still just say Christ didn't do black that. Christian mouth. Right. Christ didn't do that. Right. Unbelievable. And what's, what, what we got to understand, read that Read that again. Read that again. It's a lot in there. It's thing. a lot in there. <laughs> it's, a lot. it's a whole lot in there. <laughs> it's the book of John, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, Though Jesus himself baptized not. So Jesus Christ didn't dip nobody in the water. Mm-hmm. Read but, on. But John. But John did. Now, if we. I mean, if, but his disciples. But, he, but, his, but his disciples. These disciples, once they saw Christ, what did they do? They followed. John's, John's disciples followed Christ. Yep. That's why they were still baptizing in the uh, when in we the get water. further into the uh, New Testament. Yep. That's why. They, because they understood who Christ was. Yeah. But Christ didn't dip nobody in the water. But his disciples continued to do water baptism because they were under John. the under John's baptism. Right. This thing is this thing is real heavy. You got something on that? Right. And, and Paul even says it in First Corinthians chapter one. Paul says that, that he was not sent to dunk you in water. Mm. <laughs> right. Um. First Corinthians chapter one verse fourteen. I got it. First John. I mean, First Corinthians chapter one verse fourteen. Bring it up. I thank God that I baptized none of you. Mm-hmm. But Crispus and Gaius. So, so Paul is saying he did dunk some people in water now. Paul said, I baptize none of you but Crispus and Gaius. Read on. Lest any should say that I have baptized in my own name. Exactly. So that any would say that Paul came through baptizing, taking the credit for the baptism. Mm-hmm. It wasn't about Paul. It wasn't about any of the disciples. Read. And I baptize also the household of Stephanus. So he said, yeah, I dunked Stephanus. Go ahead. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any well, other. Why would he have to say he doesn't know if he baptized any other? Exactly. Why would he have to say that? <laughs> but, but, so, uh, so if you dump somebody in water, they did it with their eyes closed? Right. right. You, know, you know you dunked somebody <laughs> right. in some water. Right. Here's the point. Read on. For Christ sent me not to baptize. Christ sent them not to baptize. Christ's <laughs> ministry was not about the dunking in the water. Read. But to preach the gospel. That's why he said, I did not know whether I baptized. He, he preached the gospel. You don't know. When you're preaching, you don't know who's receiving the word that you bring out because it's not about you. Right. And that's why he said, I don't want to even think that I baptize in my own name only. Read. Not with wisdom of words, ahead. lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Not with my own words. He didn't speak his own word. He went and preached the gospel with Christ's words out of this Bible. And when you receive that, you receive the Holy Ghost. You understand you need to keep God's laws. That's the baptism that Christ was dealing with. Right. That's right. You got something on that? That's a cold cut. Dude. So so we know. I mean, these, these, these scriptures, are, these scriptures. <laughs> That's why we had to read Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Because it's written, it's right here in your face. And we're supposed to learn. Learn. Read it Read it again. Read that again. And then I want you to get uh, Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. Because it's clearly telling us it's the words that's going to cleanse us. What correct? What, and oh, it's a lot of scriptures coming to my head. Get that right there, real fast. <laughs> the book of Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Come on. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. Come on. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. It says it was written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. But In the patience, we're supposed to go through the Bible patiently and learn, okay, what is the real meaning and true way of baptism? What did right. Christ teach? Right. But you know what? Christians hate. The Bible. They don't they like do. the Bible. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been around Christians all this past weekend. 
And when you get into a conversation, you open the Bible, it becomes, why are you opening that book? Like, right. It's like, you, wait, ain't you a Christian? <laughs> right. Hey, don't you go to church on I, Sunday? How you going to tell me not to read the book? Right. You know what I hate the most? That is crazy. Is when they say they believe the Bible, and then when you start reading and it goes contrary to what they was taught, mm -hmm. now they say, the white man wrote that. Exactly. Right. Now, now you, all now of you, a sudden, the Bible ain't valid no more. Right. right. You just believe. <laughs> You know why? Because in here, you can't read when nobody was washed in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> you can't read that. Right. Can we read that somewhere? No. Look, I no. don't. Hey, hey, look, that not not the way the Christians be saying nah, it. They, they, we, no. we, we have to come no. out of this mindset. <laughs> Our people must come out of this mindset of thinking that being jumped, being dipped in. Y'all got that video? Hold the video. First read uh, <laughs> Psalms 119 and verse 9. All right. Matter of fact, hold that. Matthew 4, 17, because this right here is going to show us the difference of, uh, we just read that. Where you going? Matthew okay. 4, 17, because we just read that John, in, John said that Christ's ministry must increase and his must decrease. Let's get Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. It's the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. For well, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, this is is this after he's baptized by John? Yes, sir. Yeah, he was baptized yeah. by John in chapter three. And three. he was dunked in the and water. He was dunked in the water. Yeah. Now he's saying, read it again. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ's ministry is started now. Mm -hmm. All right. So are we still are, are, are people still should be following John's John's ministry? Or did John pass his ministry on to Christ? He passed the baton. He passed the baton. Everybody been watching the Olympics here lately. Right. Right. Y'all know what that means. Exactly. So if he <laughs> passed the baton, what did Christ do? Did Christ go around dumping thousands of people in the water? Nah. Hey. <laughs> I, we, don't, we don't read that. No. We read where Christ continuously taught what is already written in the Old Testament, which is the law. He taught us to repent. By doing the words, by, by doing what is written by his father. Right. Give me up, get, get that in Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. We're gonna make it there this time. It's the book <laughs> <Yeah>. of Psalms. <laughs> Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Come on. Read it out. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So how do you become clean? How do you rid yourself of your sins? Come on. By taking heed that to according to thy word. To what? According to thy word. According to the water. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Oh, okay. So the word is what cleanses us. That's what the Bible just said. That's what the Bible said. Well, let's see. That's let's what see we were then. supposed to learn from let's, the scriptures. Let's let's <laughs> see if the that was all on that, right? Yes, sir. Let's let's see if this brother right here roll this clip. Let's see if the let, let's see if the water cleanses cleans this him. brother right here. Roll that clip. I ask him to forgive me of all my sins. To forgive me of all my sins. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Come to my heart. Come to my heart. And save my soul. And save my soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen. Now I'm going to question you. Give the Lord a hand. Give him a hand. Michael. Uh oh. You about to get clean, y'all. Baptize you, my brother. No scriptures read. Father, None. Son and the Holy Ghost. Blame, blame, blame. 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 Pause it right there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Look at this. <laughs> look at this right here, y'all. Come on now. Uh, look at this right here. Look, look at them eyes. Why did he Demon make the noise when he got out of the water? That, that look. part always gets me. Go back. <laughs> yeah, go. The, the sound. Oh. <laughs> The sound always throws me off every oh, single time. Boy. I'm like, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, boy. Play it again. Yeah, you, got, you ain't go back far, no. Yeah, go back you gotta a go more. back a little bit more. Right there. Play <laughs> that, that, right that far. Just play it. Just play right, it right, right there. there. Right there. <laughs> I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Blame, blame. Unbelievable. Come on. You can't make this you up. Can't, you can't make this up. It cannot. Our people Get must realize. Look, 
being dumped in the water is not going to save you. That's what makes well, you give a me, Christian. Well, give me, is he had the thing in the pool with the him? The whole time. He's sitting here with the rock. Hey, it was in his pocket the whole the time. He was saying, with him. hey, he was saying to the, in Jesus' name, in he, Jesus' name. With and he's the, sitting with, there like this. With the lighter on this side and the, and the, and the pipe on this side. <laughs> Who he does that? He didn't dip in the water, and the first thing he did was reaches in his pocket. Man, get that in Jeremiah, Unbelievable. man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That thing trips me at the sound, bro. I'm our people, <laughs> a lot of our people out there, they think, and you got our people. When we say our people, we're talking about blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. You are the Israelites, and our people are stuck on this doctrine Thinking that, oh, you know what? I'm going to change my life. I'm going to go get baptized in, 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 in the blood of Jesus and, and change my life. <laughs> the only thing that's going to change your life is the keeping of the commandments. Right. You got that in Jeremiah? Yes, sir. Read that. It's a book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 22. For though thou wash thee with nitre uh -huh. and take thee much soap. So we're talking about washing right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, read on. Yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord God. God says, even though you get in that water and you wash your skin, soap and water cleans it cleans yeah, your skin, right? Clean your skin. But That's God what that said, big old pool they, they, they trying to make that big old pool do. Exactly. The the, the pool <laughs> I, uh, 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 symbolizes being washed from your sins. But the brother came up with a crack pipe. <laughs> He went down a crackhead and came up smoking and he, crack. And he, he was holding it in his hands. Right. He had it in hey, his hands. The whole, time he, the whole it, time he had it like this. It's crack so, over here. And that's what's bad. Light it right here. <laughs> he, come up like, he come up like this. <laughs> Look, he come up. <laughs> Praise God. That's a guy darn, like oh, you in a darn oh, coffin. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Like your butt is dying. You, you sit there real like you. Look, you are the spiritual dead. If right. you believe. That that thing is gonna save you. That is unbelievable. Because hey, hey, Christianity teaches our that's, people that is Christianity. no accountability. Right. You know what? Well, once you get dipped in water, you're saved. Right. Right. Saved right. Saved from what? Right. What We're do still you find right here that? in captivity? What do you? You can't find that in the scriptures. <laughs> if you find it in the scriptures, we'd be quiet. But we ain't gonna be quiet because you can't find that. Read right. that again, though. Read that so, one more time. Book of <laughs> Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 22. Come on. For though thou wash thee with nitre uh -huh. and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity. Yet your sins, even though you wash yourself, come on, yet is, your sins. Is marked before me. God says your sin is still right there. Why? Because the sin is in your mind. It ain't, no. it ain't on your skin. You can't wash the sin off of your skin. Nah. You must change your mind. You got something on that? Nah, nah, All right, nah. We'll, we'll good. Go, go to Ephesians. I, I, you got something? Come up yeah, with let me the... get something real quick. Let me get um Matthew chapter three because there was a pre. <laughs> the brother came to get baptized with a crack pipe in his hand, in his hand, and a rock in his hand. Right? <laughs> Let's see. I mean, and they like to, to go back to John's baptism. Let's see if John had a prerequisite prior to dunking wicked brothers and sisters <laughs> in water. Right, right. Matthew three verse um verse six and seven, real quick. All right. Matthews chapter 3, verse 6. We've Freedom. got to stop using John's baptism and act like he just was dunking people in water and they was good. Right. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Right, so first they were confessing. that They had to confess that they were in sin. Mm -hmm. Let's get sin real quick. First John 3, verse 4. Because our people, we tend to say that we're not under the laws and we're in the midst of sin but don't know what sin is. Right. Real quick. First John chapter 3. And verse 4, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, uh -huh. for sin is the transgression of the so law. So you have to admit that you're breaking God's law. So, so why? In the, so you mean to tell me if I come to the pastor and I say I want to be baptized, that I got to tell him the sin that I'm in? Yeah, but the laws are done away with, right? Oh, okay. So, 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 so what you confessing? Right. Exactly. If it ain't, that's why I say Christianity gets rid of <laughs> all accountability. Right. They let you believe you can do whatever the heck you want, and you're going to live. And oh. Christ is going to say, you know what? You know what? Forget all that. Forget everything that I've said, that I wrote, that right. you were supposed to learn. Forget that. You got dipped in my blood. <laughs> you better Go ahead. Shut your it. black Christian mouth. Go ahead, bro. Verse 7. Matthew chapter 3, verse 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism. To get baptized by Henry. He said unto them, O generation of vipers, mm -hmm. 
who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. He, he, this, he called them vipers. He <laughs> said, right. you wicked Negroes who warned you to, to flee from the, the wrath to come. That fire that officers was bringing out. Really. Right. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. He said, you got to start showing fruits, meat for repentance before I even think about putting you in the water. There's no way you're going to come to me with a crack pipe. You ain't going to come there with a crack pipe in your hand <laughs> talking about dip me in water. Exactly. Right. So get... Sis is the same way. How in the world are you going to go to a baptism wearing pants when well, you know I, God's law? Look, right. we're, uh, shoot, we're wearing the cl your club dress that you just wore exactly. the night before. Right. Unbelievable. Right. Ain't even go home. Right. It came straight from the club, <laughs> sat right in the church. Unbelievable. Talking about dip me in water so I can be forgiven for everything you just did with your thirsty traveling tail <laughs> last night. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, right, right. I think we're going to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break. it's break time. All right, well, so we're going <laughs> to take this break, and then we'll be back to uh, finish diving into what true repentance is according to baptism. Look at these charts. Damn it! Chuck another album! Look at the charts, man. Yes! Original royalty is still at the top of the charts. Ah! What do we do? We tried Kid Cudi the dress. Yeah. We tried Lil Nas X. Nothing is working. The Benja Vice dropped the fifth album. Why? 149 and one Lily won't stop with the damn hits. Mm. There's nothing we can do. I know what we can do. Let's go. Right, but yeah, we at the bottom, but really ain't no one on top of us. I see the ain't coming, and I did not need no binoculars. If this was a game, then we about to win the whole tournament. This place going down, and I'm going up like the firmament. You gotta pay the whole penalty for what you did to my people. They told us to shoot for the stars, but first let me shoot at the eagle This is a movie part one, and I cannot wait for the sequel No wonder you run from the sun, cause you are the shadiest people But enough of this talk about you, now let's get back to reality We march when the cops kill our people, but we don't march when we go kill our family I call that insanity, sanity, 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 sanity They took all our nickels and dimes, when it comes to sense we don't have any <laughs> He's not financial calamity I got the most dangerous book on this earth So I dare one and y'all to come challenge me I'm reading it over and over Till my people break out the cycle You said I got love everybody But that script is not in the Bible Yeah, bring insanity like Sean T Crossroads for those who cross me Esau feeling all heat In his rightful place with a dog leash That's a rider I ain't those you dare flee It's a wild game and you dare me We control the fight like a new Hadouken Watch it get down right left beat His high horse is getting murky Full of pride since birth Cast Lucifer from his heaven Better get real down to earth If you want kings of South Hansen We activated, not acting Wait until that day the sky cracking Make him feel that heat like house plastic Here's Santa Day, here's Santa Day This a mental war and they challenge The scales of judgment unbalanced Them prophecies is unraveling We can crucify it in the media If you're in your feelings, get past them We the real men and we set the lead Get that woman out, you like Adam Spassing out, going insane Free slave and I'm unchained We lost the kingdom, trying to regain In a wire press full of beat stains World war a few weeks away Carpe diem, we seize the day I deserve it all, that's all they need to say Said he asked the pieces, that's a peaceful day Said he asked the pieces, that's a peaceful day Pray to the guy who made me Y'all the guy ways you crazy Y'all the guy ways you crazy Ah. Uh. I've been thinking about it, I get in. Jakey J got a problem, forget in. He went out of reality, set in. That the enemy, I had to get him. Your head on the wall, cause it's mounted, beheaded, or face in the other direction. Cause we walking dead in the dead ends. The chariot drop, I'm like, get in. Cause we trying to dodge, I'ma get in. One body move, one mind, one, two, double time, like 11. I move things with my mind like 11. I watch you start face as a red end. Definition of Zion is weapon. The truth like a virus is spreading. Say you out of your mind if you catch it. Then I'ma be dying to get it. We doing it's over and over again every time it fall through all cause of sin and it's harm and it's ball of confusion I ain't convinced we caught up arm in the rim uh break down the word my job entomology I live in different dimension and it's called reality where we don't make no apologies and eternal life be the salary
<laughs> Did you see the charts? Did you see the charts, man? I'm with you. I'm very with you. Unbelievable! Damn, damn, damn! This is a damn nightmare! <laughs> That is pertinent. Give me a lights, camera, action, all this. Roll it. Action. Damn it! Another album! What? What? You got to be kidding me! All praises. That right there was uh, sounds of original royalty recordings. Y'all make sure y'all go out, go check out uh, Psalms 149, Insanity. All right, go on uh, our YouTube channel. Make sure you check out all the righteous music on there. All right, so we're gonna jump right back into it. Into this, does water baptism save you, bro? I think we've been busting yeah. across the head for a little bit. Yeah, we have, but we ain't through. Yeah, we ain't we done ain't yet. Like I said, there's many scripts that deal with baptism. So we're going to deal with one that these Christian pastors like to pull, and then they close the book on you and pull the sheet over your face so you don't know what the heck going on. Let's right. go to John 3 and verse 5. This is, this the, is what they do. <laughs> the book of John, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Everybody right there at the church congregation mm -hmm. on Sunday, they all feel like, you know what? You Today, right. I'm jumping in this pool. Right. In the darn ocean. Or right. The darn river or whatever in the world you're going to go into. But let's break that down because that's not what that means. It ain't told all these scriptures we don't read. Without it being water, now all of a sudden you're saying the Bible contradicts itself? Right. No, it's not what it does. So let's go through it again. Read it again. It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water. So it said, except a man be born of water. Uh -huh. Let's see what that water is. Let's get that Ephesians 5. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. Uh -huh. Read that he might sanctify and cleanse it. So sanctify and cleanse it, read. With the washing of water. Uh-huh. Well, so it said washing of water. What's the water? Mm -hmm. By the word. The word of God is the water. So we done read that a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We done read that many oh, times. Man. And the Bible keeps saying the same thing because it's supposed to be precept upon precept. But you'll get a Christian pastor read one verse and say that validates everything they want to do to deceive silly people. Right. Now they got a you line. Know, you can't full say of, certain stuff on the radio. They got a line full of full of our people standing at the river, ready to jump into the river. Oh, we gonna watch that too. Cause that stuff happened. Look, <laughs> right. it's been going on for years. Bruh. But uh, I right, let's go back to John three and five. It's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of, of the Spirit, uh -huh. he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So now we know the water. We know the water is the word of God. So let's get the Spirit in John 6, 63. It's the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Bring it out. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Uh -huh. Now it said it is the spirit that quickeneth. To quicken it means change. Read right. The flesh profited nothing. Uh huh. The words that I speak unto you. So the words that Christ speak, read. They are spirit. Uh huh. And they are life. So the words of the Bible is the spirit. <laughs> so that's, you're supposed to be baptized, reborn, which is what you read earlier. Repent. 
by the word of God, with the commandments of the Lord. But y'all don't, y'all, y'all, look, we don't say this a hundred times. Y'all still ain't going to hear us anyway. Right. Y'all ain't going to hear us anyway. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> nope. It, it's, it's amazing that the, these things are written and our people still can't get it. Like it's been a veil just, whoosh, yeah. the veil just been whoosh, pulled yeah. over the head. That's it. And we gotta come out of we gotta come out of that thinking. That's why we read that in in, in, in 1 Corinthians 1 17, dealing with Paul. It's the same thing. It's going into the word. Get Isaiah. I know. Isaiah 1 16. Yeah, you in the spirit on that one. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. Bring it out. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. So is the evil of your doings on your flesh? <laughs> Where is that? Where is the Where is the evil? The evil that you let your do. Pass the an- Look, let your pastor answer that question. Right. God, dog. No. He bringing you down to the river. Is the evil that you're doing? The evil is the evil that you're doing is actions. Right. Those are actions that, that 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 are taking place. Right. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse sixteen. Wash you. God make, says, wash you. Make you clean. Uh huh. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Uh huh. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Uh huh. What did it say? <laughs> Cease to do evil. Uh huh. Learn to do well. How do you learn to do well? <laughs> Romans 15 and 4 <laughs> just told us how we learn to do well. Right. <laughs> Go through these scriptures and learn the laws of God and do them. Right. Read on. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. So we must learn to do well <laughs> according to the scriptures. Learning to do well is keeping God's commandments. Right, right. The words of God. It's that simple. Get out of Peter. First Peter. Oh, you got something on that? No, that's where I was going to go. Okay. But you want it. I'm, I'm going to let you, you, let you, you deal. Get it. You All right. First Peter, it. chapter one. You done pulled it. Let's, Three and 21. Got it. Let me get there. Look, me too. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> It's the book of First Peter, chapter 3, verse 21. Bring it out. The light figure whereunto, even baptism, doth also now save us. Uh-huh. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God. Read it, read on. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. All right, so let's go into it. We had to, to read the whole thing because we want to keep it in yeah, you context. Know, you know, if you read it and they say, it just said baptism. Right. Getting dipped in water. That's what it just said. That's how they going to act right there. Right. So let's read it again. <laughs> the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 21. Bring it out. The light figure whereunto, even baptism, doth also now save us. Come on. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. So we done read not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. How many times? I mean. Three. Four. I don't the, know. The whole time. The whole, whole time. We'll give you the, the what is it? What did, what did LeBron them say? Not one. Not, not two. One, not two. <laughs> not the putting away of the flesh. So water baptism and be dipped in the water. That ain't going to save you. Come on. But the answer of a good conscience toward God. A good what? A good conscience toward God. Does your flesh have a conscience? <laughs> hey, the crickets be on point. <laughs> I mean, does my flesh, can my flesh think? The flesh does what the mind tells it to do. That's why it said put away the evil of your doings mm-hmm. in Isaiah. You got to put away. Your flesh ain't just getting up and, and, and doing yeah. stuff. You are taking the flesh Putting the flesh in iniquity and sin. It right. says a good conscience, but the answer of a good conscience towards God. So how do you get a good conscience towards God? You got to do what the Bible say. Hmm. Because if you, you must know there ain't, ain't no good there. Look, all of y'all that's in these Christian churches, y'all know good well y'all ain't doing what God wants y'all hey, to do. Let's, right. We can go back. The good conscience towards God is what we ju- what you just read, Ephesians 5 and 26 again. Oh, shoot. We, matter of fact, yeah, go ahead. Go there. I got another one. I got one for that. I got one for that. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it. With cleanse the- what? The flesh? <laughs> we ain't talking about the flesh here. We're not talking about the cleansing of the flesh. Remember, we're precepting, precept upon precept. Yep, First it. Peter 3 and 21. So what are we talking about? How do we get a good conscience? Read it again. 
the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it. Cleanse the good conscience or cleanse the conscience with the washing of water by the word. With the washing of water by the word. So, so like you were just saying, and Peter's is talking about the conscience right here is in, in Ephesians. Same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter four. And uh, I think it's yeah 14. Jeremiah 4 and 14 It's going to deal with this conscience and how and what's supposed to be clean. Let's read that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Oh, Jerusalem. This is talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Oh, Jerusalem. Read. Wash thine heart. Wash from thine heart. Read on. From wickedness. From wickedness. Now it's going to tell you what in the world your heart is in the same verse. Read mm -hmm. on. That thou mayest be saved. This is how you get saved. Wash your heart. Read on. How long shall thy vain thoughts how lodge? How long shall your vain thoughts? Hold on. So. That's your, the conscience. Your skin ain't got no thoughts? Nah. This is the conscience that we reading about. So your when thoughts. I wash my skin, <laughs> I can't wash the thoughts off of my skin? Nah, right. shoot. Oh, I mean, unless sorry. you one of them, you know, them surgical people oh. that cut people's skulls and then they spray the water in there. I oh. mean, I, I don't, maybe that's what y'all want oh. people oh, to okay. do. Read that from the top again. It's the book of <laughs> Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. Read it out. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, uh -huh. that thou mayest be saved. Uh-huh. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? He's asking, how long are you going to let your conscience be against God? Come on now, dog. Wash your thoughts. Clean up your mind. Because it's a mind thing for you to go out here and commit adultery. You thought about that. Mm. It's a mind thing for you to rob your brother or your sister. You thought about that. Right. It's a, it's a mind thing for you to hate somebody because they stepped on your shoes and some crap and go shoot them up. You thought about that crap. Just Ooh. like that sister that was showed last week uh, uh, in the video. Getting out, look, she pulled up calm and cool, hop out, blow her sister brains out, get back in the car, drive off. Bruh. She thought about that. that. Right. Clean right. that crap up. Right. Unbelievable. Hey, let's get Who uh, does that? Let's get Titus. Titus chapter 3. Uh, let's, let's read Titus, Titus chapter 3 verse 1, then jump down to verse 5. We can really read the whole thing of Titus, but let's, let's just start at verse 1. It's the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it out. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work. So the, the, do, the good work is the doing of God's law, statutes, That's and commandments. That's right. All right. When you put that in mind, that is going to have you to be subject to what? It says principalities, powers, to obey magistrates. You're going to learn how to walk on the earth. You're going to mm -hmm. know how to carry yourself in society because you are now equipped with the commandments of God. Right. Jump to verse five. Verse five. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. So we want to be saved, right? That that's, what it, that's, that's what we want. We that's, want, we want salvation. But the Christian church will say, I'm saved, and sanctified. Highly, and highly favored. And highly favored <laughs> by the blood <laughs> of Jesus. So black Christian mouth. Come on, man. Read on. By the washing. Uh oh. There it is again. What are we washing? What are we continuously washing, bro? <laughs> that, we, hey, we, you can't take that many baths. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. Read. By the washing of to regeneration. By the washing of regeneration. Come on. And renewing of the Holy Ghost. And the renewing of the Holy Ghost, which is God's laws in our mind. That's Get it. Romans 12 and 2. Because the renewing of our mind is what we have to do. Renewing your mind in the law, statutes, and commandments of God is what washes you, is what makes you clean by the words. We done read this uh, at least 12, 10, 20,000 times a day. Hey, man. Come hey. on. They, they still ain't gonna listen. No, they ain't gonna listen. God, they said, about, it. Yeah. God said it. Right. God said it. Right. You, you, you <laughs> might have you might have to prove that in a minute. Read that. What, what I got you at? Romans? Book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world by letting your pastor take you down to the river Jordan and dump you. He's gonna drown you. Don't Ooh. be conformed to this world because you see all of these other uh, uh, members of congregations going to be dumped in the water. Now, we're not saying again that we want to be baptized in the water. Go ahead. Get dumped in the water. There ain't nothing wrong with it. But that is not what's going to save you. That's not what's going to help you inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Read it again. 
Book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Come on. And be not conformed to this world. Come on. But be ye transformed. Be what? Be ye transformed. Come on. By the renewing of your mind. Uh huh. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, what renews the mind? And we keep seeing this thing. It, it keeps saying it. It says the will of God right there. That's what it called in that scripture. It said the, the, will, the will of God. Of God. Get that in Psalms. <laughs> Get that in Psalms. So cool. We done hit this before with him, but we have to show you precept upon precept that the Bible is saying the same thing over and over and over. Talking to you children of Israel, uh -huh. you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, because we're the ones in the worst condition, and we're the ones that have a, a zeal for the Most High God. You go in any black church right now, they carrying on. Yeah, they carrying on bad, yeah. falling on the floor, foaming out the mouth. Oh, God. and then go smoke a cigarette. This? Oh God! Unbelievable. <laughs> Read what you got. It's the Book of Psalms, chapter forty, verse eight. Come on. I delight to do Thy will, O my God. Yea, Thy law is within my heart. There it is again. The will of God is the law. So why are they still going to the river? We got a clip. What's, what 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 yeah. year what year is this clip from? What year Was is this 1920? clip? 1920? 1920? Okay. Roll that roll that clip from 1920 and we're going to see that the same thing is still taking a taking place today in 2021. <laughs> Community baptism is so integral to religious practice and stop for a minute. Hold on. It said uh, community, community baptism. baptism. <laughs> I didn't hear that the Bruh. first time. Bruh. I didn't hear that the first time. Community? Why can we is there community? Now there is community baptism in the scripture. That's what John was doing. Yeah, hold on. That, that was a community sure baptism. Up. But let's see if they're doing what John was doing. Read play on. Community baptism is so integral to the religious practice in African American communities in the twenties. They were a very established sense of strength and support for one another. Hey, there pause, are pause, 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 pause. That's how you know it's jacked up. They talking about African American right. communities. Right. That term African American wasn't even a term in the nineteen twenties. Hey, you hey, you a prophet. You point, was, hey, you found that thing. Hey, I didn't even see that. That, wasn't that didn't even, even come to mind. A term in the nineteen twenties. You a prophet. That wasn't a term. Unbelievable. Come on, God, man. No. And that's how you know that this is all jacked up. It's all jacked up. We are, we are, we are easily deceived and docile because, like you said, that and they term put this on National Geographic, right? Too. Yeah, at least so they put that on TV for all, on a national channel for all the people that got their kids and them sitting in front of the the dumb TV, and this is what they got them watching. Milking and they sitting people. there watching it too. Milking our people. Play God, on no. for one another. There are hundreds witnessing this important moment. This sort of going to the river, and it becomes this sort of holy day. Look at this. You have the ministers that are out there Sam and then boys, day. girls, adults all coming in pairs, being baptized simultaneously. You see individuals who are, as they say, catching the Holy Ghost. Stop. I, I, yeah. was, I was waiting like, what yeah. the hell? What did I for that. that? <laughs> said they were individuals, individuals were catching the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's Mind what they you, said. we read the Holy Ghost is the law. So how do you catch... They like I said before, they, they, they treating this stuff like baseball, right? Man. Like they catch it in the glove and threw it to somebody else. Oh, they 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 they, they caught it. They caught it, <laughs> put it in their pocket, and by the time they got to their car to go yeah, home, they the, lost it. How do you catch something and lose it? It's like the Holy Ghost is tripping Come on me now, out. dog. That don't make sense. Go back, go back a little bit. Go back just a just a little bit. Unbelievable. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Play right there. Right there. Sleep. You see individuals who are, as they say, catching the Holy Ghost. The Spirit has invoked them. I don't think very many people have seen this. To be able to capture such a sacred practice provides that moment into the sort of cultural memory of many African Americans. Check this out. Now, this was in the 1920s, right? But since then, because if you look on, if we, if we look at this, which has been used to deceive our people, deceive our people with, it, I mean, deceive our people scripturally and mentally, since the 1920s, 
Now, when you look at that clip, there's like hundreds of people out there. Yeah, hundreds there are of hundreds people of people. I don't know what community this was. I don't know where, what state it was, but I wish I knew. But let's just say it was right here in Columbia, South Carolina. You got hundreds of people witnessing, like she said. Like you said, it was it was done in communities all over. It wasn't right. just wherever they were showing that clip from. Right. It was actually was probably like, happening right yeah. here in Practice. Columbia. So what I'm saying is, imagine 1920s, all these hundreds of people, they're doing this. Yeah. What has changed? And yokes of iron is off that neck. Completely <laughs> destroyed. Completely, Completely destroyed. destroyed. Nothing well, has changed. Like you said, and, and look, you've had prophets bringing the truth out for years, and our people still don't listen. That's why That's why I keep saying y'all ain't going to listen, because we're going to read it for you. Let's go to Ezekiel 3. Let's go to Ezekiel 3 and 6. Matter of fact, yeah, 4. We're going to read right there. Let's jump up to 4. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Because this is only for you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You are the Israelites. That's this right. This Bible belongs to you. Every script we've read today is for you. Read on. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech uh -huh. and of a hard language. But to the house of Israel. Because yeah, we ain't talking no language y'all don't understand. And we ain't coming to y'all and y'all ain't speaking to us something we don't know. Ooh. We already been in them false doctrines. That's how we know what you're doing. Right. But we repented and came out of it and we need you to do the same. But this is what's going to happen to most of you. Read on. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language. Uh -huh. Whose words thou canst not understand. Read. Surely had I sent thee to them. They would have hearkened unto thee. That's a shame. That's a slap. God in the face. just slap. said, if I, if He'd have sent us to, the other to another nation with right. a different language, they would have repent long time ago. Why? Because they that's why they want to be us so bad. They would have did it, knowing. Look to know that the earth. Look, if another nation found out the earth was belonging to them, they would have repented long time hey, they'd ago. They'd have been in control already. Unbelievable. But Read us, on, <laughs> us, whom the earth truly belongs to, we don't we want that. We can't get it right. We don't want that. We want what That's everybody else got. That's Read on. Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. Yeah, it is. Y'all mm -hmm. won't listen. Read. Nope. For they will not hearken unto me. Uh-huh. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. There you go. Y'all hey. are hard-headed people. Right. Hey. And your minds can't be clean because you got that big old rock up there that you won't let no scriptures get through. So, officer, so what you're saying is even though we're bringing out all these scriptures and giving us understanding, there's going to be people that listen to this and say, turn that damn radio yeah, they, off. Look, they're going to turn off the radio or they might listen to the whole thing and it's just going to be, dang, that was a lovely way they broke In it down. In one ear, right out <laughs> the other. <laughs> In one ear and right out the other. Who does that? I wanted to hear something. Go back to verse four. Because remember, we just read in Romans chapter 12 <laughs> and verse 2 to renew your mind, right? Yeah. What's going to renew your mind? The words of God. That's now, it. let's see what God says in Ezekiel 3 and 4. Again, read that. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 4. This is for you yeah. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are not going to hearken and you're going to get baptized with fire when Christ come back. <laughs> read. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. Like you said, that's who? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Get really? to the house of Israel. Come on. And speak with my words. Speak with what? With my words. Officer eight time words. With my words. Officer you want time words. With my words. Cref Creflo dollar Creflo words. dollar words. <laughs> with my <laughs> words. T. Jake's words. With Unbelievable. my Unbelievable. <laughs> so the <laughs> it's right here in our face. Teach speak the Bible. Teach the Bible. Do what's written in the Bible. But like you said. They ain't going to listen. Now, jump to verse jump to verse <laughs> 17. Verse 17. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So that's why we're on this show. Yeah, because we're trying we, to watch out for our people. We're watching out for the souls of our people, right? We're going through. We, look, you can go through the scriptures yourself, but since we know you're not, we study the book. Go into the scriptures for you, like the Most High said, yep. and we find what is right in the Bible. The whole Bible is right, <laughs> by the way. The whole Bible is right. But we are sent to warn you and give you an understanding of these scriptures, thus saith the Lord. Read right. it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Come on. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Hear what? 
hear the word at my mouth. The word is the water. All right. The word is what the word is the water that's going to wash you. This is what you're going to be baptized in right here. Right. Read that part again. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So hear the word at, at God's mouth. Come on. And give them warning. Give from, them a what? Give them warning from me. So I don't know how much more of a warning they need to understand. All right, there's two, there's <laughs> many baptisms. All right. There are many baptisms, but the baptism that we are to follow right now is the way that Christ baptized right. by teaching our people the laws, statutes, and commandments of God. That's what's going to get us right. out of this, uh, 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 the stupor that we're in. Yeah, this captivity that we in. Right. But our people love it so, and that's love why y'all won't listen. They love it. They love it. What else we got on that? Oh, shoot, you gotta, we got a great close. You got to do the close okay. out, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, the, the, the time goes so fast. It, do. it, it do. goes it so go fast. Quick. But it this has quick. been Wartime Radio with Officer Kalaya. And to my right. Officer Aton. To my left. Officer, you want to talk All right, y'all make sure y'all, hey, give them the information for the, uh, oh, for the, the school. Del- the the school del- stuff, yeah. The school, we have a school in Columbia, South Carolina, 1823 Greg Street. Come out and learn. It's open every Tuesdays and Thursdays. At seven at seven p.m. until nine thirty p.m. Um, if you'd like to donate to the radio show, it's iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org. Or if you'd like to donate to the um, just in general, you can go to fundraising at israelunite.org. Is it fundraising? iuic.fundraising iuic. yeah. at israelunite.org. If you want to donate to the organization, All and also praises. come see us on the Sabbath right. day. Right. Stop us during nonsense on Sunday crap y'all doing, jumping around and stuff. All praises. So this has been Wartime Radio, and with that, we say shalom. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.